Young's modulus is a mechanical property that measures the stiffness of a solid material. It defines the relationship between stress force per unit area and strain proportional deformation in a material in the linear elasticity regime of a uniaxial deformation. Young's modulus is named after the 19th century British scientist Thomas Young. However, the concept was developed in 1727 by Leonard Euler, and the first experiments that used the concept of Young's modulus in its current form were performed by the Italian scientist Giordano Riccati in 1782, predating Young's work by 25 years. The term modulus is the diminutive of the Latin term modus, which means measure. Definition Linear elasticity A solid material will undergo elastic deformation when a small load is applied to it in compression or extension. Elastic deformation is reversible, the material returns to its original shape after the load is removed. At near zero stress and strain, the stress-strain curve is linear, and the relationship between stress and strain is described by Hook. S law that states stress is proportional to strain. The coefficient of proportionality is Young's modulus. The higher the modulus, the more stress is needed to create the same amount of strain. An idealized rigid body would have an infinite Young's modulus. Not many materials are linear and elastic beyond a small amount of deformation. Formula and units E equals sigma e display style e equals frac sigma epsilon where e display style e is young's modulus in pascal sigma display style sigma is the uniaxial stress, or uniaxial force per unit surface, in Pascal E display style epsilon is the strain, or proportional deformation, change in length divided by original length, adimensional. In practice, Young's moduli are given in megapascals, MPa or N per square millimeter, or gigapascals, GPa or kilonewton per square millimeter. Not to be confused with Material stiffness should not be confused with strength, maximal amount of stress the material can withstand while staying in the elastic, reversible deformation regime. Geometric stiffness, a global characteristic of the body that depends on its shape, and not only on the local properties of the material, for instance, AI beam has a higher bending stiffness than a rod of the same material for a given mass per length. Hardness, relative resistance of the material's surface to penetration by a harder body. Toughness, amount of energy that a material can absorb before fracture. Usage The Young's modulus enables the calculation of the change in the dimension of a bar made of an isotropic elastic material under tensile or compressive loads. For instance, it predicts how much a material sample extends under tension or shortens under compression. The Young's modulus directly applies to cases of uniaxial stress, that is tensile or compressive stress in one direction and no stress in the other directions. Young's modulus is also used in order to predict the deflection that will occur in a statically determinate beam when a load is applied at a point in between the beam. S supports. Other elastic calculations usually require the use of one additional elastic property, such as the shear modulus, bulk modulus or Poisson's ratio. Any two of these parameters are sufficient to fully describe elasticity in an isotropic material. Linear versus nonlinear Young's modulus represents the factor of proportionality in Hooke. S law, which relates the stress and the strain. However, Hooke's law is only valid under the assumption of an elastic and linear response. 
Any real material will eventually fail and break when stretched over a very large distance or with a very large force, however all solid materials exhibit nearly Hoekean behavior for small enough strains or stresses. If the range over which Hooke's law is valid is large enough compared to the typical stress that one expects to apply to the material, the material is said to be linear. Otherwise, if the typical stress one would apply is outside the linear range, the material is said to be nonlinear. Steel, carbon fiber and glass among others are usually considered linear materials, while other materials such as rubber and soils are nonlinear. However, this is not an absolute classification. If very small stresses or strains are applied to a nonlinear material, the response will be linear, but if very high stress or strain is applied to a linear material, the linear theory will not be enough. For example, as the linear theory implies reversibility, it would be absurd to use the linear theory to describe the failure of a steel bridge under a high load. Although steel is a linear material for most applications, it is not in such a case of catastrophic failure. In solid mechanics, the slope of the stress-strain curve at any point is called the tangent modulus. It can be experimentally determined from the slope of a stress-strain curve created during tensile tests conducted on a sample of the material. Directional materials Young's modulus is not always the same in all orientations of a material. Most metals and ceramics, along with many other materials, are isotropic, and their mechanical properties are the same in all orientations. However, metals and ceramics can be treated with certain impurities, and metals can be mechanically worked to make their grain structures directional. These materials then become anisotropic, and Young's modulus will change depending on the direction of the force vector. Anisotropy can be seen in many composites as well. For example, carbon fiber has a much higher Young's modulus is much stiffer when force is loaded parallel to the fibers along the grain. Other such materials include wood and reinforced concrete. Engineers can use this directional phenomenon to their advantage in creating structures. Calculation Young's modulus E can be calculated by dividing the tensile stress sigma epsilon display style sigma bar epsilon by the engineering extensional strain epsilon display style bar epsilon in the elastic initial linear portion of the physical stress strain curve E sigma epsilon epsilon equals f a delta l l zero equals f L zero a delta L display style e equiv frac sigma bar epsilon bar epsilon equals frac f a delta L L underscore zero equals frac f L underscore zero a delta L where E is the Young's modulus, modulus of elasticity. F is the force exerted on an object under tension. A is the actual cross-sectional area, which equals the area of the cross-section perpendicular to the applied force. Delta L is the amount by which the length of the object changes. Delta L is positive if the material is stretched and negative when the material is compressed. L0 is the original length of the object. Force exerted by stretched or contracted material The Young's modulus of a material can be used to calculate the force it exerts under specific strain. F equals E 
A Delta L L zero Display style F equals FRAC EA Delta L L underscore zero where F is the force exerted by the material when contracted or stretched by delta L. Hooke's law for a stretched wire can be derived from this formula. F equals E A L zero delta L equals K X display style F equals left frac e a l underscore zero right Delta L equals kx where it comes in saturation K e a l 0 Display style K equip begin matrix FRAC EA L underscore zero end matrix and X Delta L Display style X equip Delta L But note that the elasticity of coiled springs comes from shear modulus, not Young's modulus. Elastic potential energy The elastic potential energy stored in a linear elastic material is given by the integral of the Hooke's law U E equals K X D X equals 1 2 k x 2 display style u underscore e equals int kx dx equals frac 1 2 kx caret 2 now by expliciting the intensive variables u E equals E A Delta L L zero D Delta L equals E a L zero Delta L D Delta L equals E A Delta L Two two L zero Display style U underscore E equals int FRAC EA delta L L underscore zero D delta L equals FRAC EA L underscore zero int delta L D delta L equals FRAC EA delta L carrot two two L underscore zero this means that the elastic potential energy density ie per unit volume is given by u e a l 0 equals e delta l 2 2 L 0 
2 Display style FRAC U underscore E L underscore zero equals FRAC E delta L carrot two two L underscore zero carrot two or in simple notation for a linear elastic material U E Epsilon equals E Epsilon D Epsilon equals one two E Epsilon two Display style u underscore e bar epsilon equals int e bar epsilon d bar epsilon equals frac one two e bar epsilon caret two. Since the strain is defined, epsilon delta l l zero. Display style bar epsilon equiv frac delta l l underscore zero. In a nonlinear elastic material, the Young's modulus is a function of the strain, so the second equivalence no longer holds, and the elastic energy is not a quadratic function of the strain. U e epsilon equals E Epsilon Epsilon D Epsilon does not equal one two E Epsilon two Display style u underscore e bar epsilon equals int e bar epsilon bar epsilon d bar epsilon n e q frac one two e bar epsilon caret two. Relation among elastic constants. For homogeneous isotropic materials, simple relations exist between elastic constants. Young. S modulus E, shear modulus G, bulk modulus K, and Poisson S ratio nu that allow calculating them all as long as two are known. E equals two G one plus nu equals Three K one minus two new display style E equals two G one plus new equals three K one to two new approximate values Young's modulus can vary somewhat due to differences in sample composition and test method. The rate of deformation has the greatest impact on the data collected, especially in polymers. The values here are approximate and only meant for relative comparison. See also Bending stiffness Deflection Deformation Flexural modulus Hooke's law Impulse excitation technique List of materials properties Yield engineering. References Further reading ASTME 111 Standard test method for Young's modulus, tangent modulus, and chord modulus. The ASM handbook, various volumes, contains Young's modulus for various materials and information on calculations. Online version, subscription required. 
External links MATWEB – Free database of engineering properties for over 115,000 materials Young's modulus for groups of materials, and their cost